My question is to the Minister for Climate Change and Energy. Toyota's Vice President of Sales, Sean Henley, claims that Labor's proposed new family car and new tax is too aggressive, stating, I can tell you from Toyota's perspective we're not buying credits. We'll pay a fine. We'd pass it on. When Labor's new family car and tax proposes penalties of around $14,900 for a Hilux, $11,000 for a RAV4 and $25,000 for a Land Cruiser, how can the minister claim the prices of existing cars will not go up? Order. Give the call. The member for Fisher will cease interjecting. I give the call to the Minister for Climate Change. And well, thanks uh, very much, Mr. Speaker. I thank the honourable member for his question, and I can tell him that because his constituents do drive long distances, they have a lot to gain from more fuel efficiency mm -hmm. in the fleet, Mr. Speaker. A, a, a constituent of his in Broken Hill, for example, would save $1,080 a year, Mr. Speaker, if they Order. buy a new car in 2028 as a result of this government's policies. Order. Now, Mr. Members Speaker, on my left, the member for Hume will cease rejecting. No, they are really sending a memo to the Australian people, aren't they, Mr. Speaker? They did not. They did not hear the lessons of 2022. The only thing missing from the honourable member's question was an assertion that they don't tow your boat and they won't tow a caravan and they'll end the weekend, Mr Speaker. You missed a bit out of the question because that's the mindset of those opposite. The member for Cook has left the building, but he's left, he's left the policy manual for those opposite. Now, the fact of the matter is, Mr Speaker, that we have catching up to do with the rest of the world. Motorists in the United States, in New Zealand, in Canada, in India, in China, in Saudi Arabia have the benefit of new vehicle efficiency standards. Because of 10 years of denial and delay in action, Australians don't. Those opposite know we should. The member for Bradfield knows it. He was a very fervent advocate for them. And he pointed out on multiple occasions that in no country in the world has there been an upward impact on any particular model. And he was right then, and he's wrong now. Order. Uh, speaker, the I'd like to Parks. make a personal uh, explanation. Do you um, claim to be misrepresented? Yes, yeah, certainly you, a you constituent of mine. The Minister for Climate Change and Energy in his answer said my constituent in Broken Hill would save money purchasing a car under his scheme. He would have to save 12,000 litres of fuel to 120,000 kilometres before he was back to square. Seat. That's not a misrepresentation. That's an opinion. Authorised by Mark Colton, National Party of Australia, Dubbo.